Hi everybody, um, I'm back. <laughs> Just a quick video now to show you how easy it is to get a great effect with the sparkle medium. So what I've done is I've just put direct onto my table, I've got a piece of the black gloss cardstock that's pre-cut that Imagination Crafts do underneath. I've then put my Snowflake Flurry stencil over the top and you can see I've just done my tape all the way around. I always do top, bottom, side, side so that we have a lever after to move it up so that we can, it'll all make sense I'm going along. So, <laughs> sorry, just so excited to get playing with these. You know what it's like, you can't talk sometimes, you're that excited. Right, I'm going to take the silver, oh, look at that. Because I'm on black card and I'm doing snowflakes, I just have to have silver. Now, palette knife, Imagination Crafts do these too, everything. They do the tape and everything, fabulous. So I'm going to take this and all you do is just scoop up and you can see, kind of got like, I'm going to try and get this close up, you can see this is like a jelly consistency, okay, can you see, like a jelly consistency, I'm just going to scoop some up, now everybody does this different, so I'm going to show you how I do this and how I find best to do, I like to place it on the top, right onto my tape, can you see, not onto the stencil yet, but onto the tape, Take my excess off, always take all your excess off, put it back into the pot, save everything. Then I like to use my spatula at a 45 degree angle, can you see, like that. If I can just move the camera second, not great, but can you see, like I've got it at an angle, alright. So I'm going to put my camera back. So what I'm going to do now is just 45 degree angle and I'm just going to go down and down and down. There you go. Can you see? You just cover right to the very bottom. Excess back in the pot. Can you see? There's just like no waste. So I'm going to scrape all off the excess now back in. So you really do use the tiniest amount because all you're using is exactly what is on that stencil. I'm going to take all my excess off my tape because I want to keep everything. Take as much away as I possibly can. Can you see I'm just getting it all up from the tape back into the pot. Quick sweep over and there we are. Now if I'd put my stencil palette knife, sorry, into a um, pot of water, take away, so this is when I've put on, so I'm taking it off in the opposite direction that I put it on, so I'm now going to take my sides off first, then I'm going to, now for the ease of the camera, I'm going to take this top one off so that you can see better, so I'm going to take the top one off, That in my little bit, and then you leave this one to create that lever, okay? So I'm now going to lift up, and then what that means is, is if you've missed anything, which I'm sure you won't have done, you can always just pop it straight back down, it'll go into exactly the right place. Then I'm going to take my tape away, take my stencil away. And there we have it. Look at that. Isn't that so simple and so effective? So I just leave that to dry. I can go ahead and carry on doing more. I like to do these in a job lot. You know that you get lots and lots done so that then you can make all your cards together. But that is the black, black gloss card with the beautiful silver sparkle medium over the top using the snowflake flurry. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's how simple it is. Couldn't be easier. So there you go. There's a, a quick intro how, into how to do your stenciling. I'm going to leave that to dry. doesn't take too long to dry. I usually leave them for about an hour or so, but it really doesn't take that long at all. So um, I hope you enjoyed that, and I shall uh, be back soon. Okay, see you later. Bye.